perfect start, none, no less than a 2 0 victory against your first game in charge as Torquay boss. Also, very good. No goals against. The two goals where, you know, everyone was saying uh, nobody was going to score a goal and, you know, you haven't scored away from home. But, you know what, the lads put in an effort there, didn't they? You know, nobody can say they didn't put in the effort. I mean, if you used to walk out on the pitch and they tried very hard, but, you know, if you had the ordnance survey people out there, there'd be a lot of lines because there is a, a lot of undulation out there and sometimes it stops you being athletic. Sometimes it stops you running with the ball because the ball's bubbling and bouncing up. So I was just really pleased that the lads played the conditions, they played the game, they knew it was important to us, being a fresh start. We was only one nil up at half time, but we created a, a lot of opportunities and I'm sure that the their team in there are not thinking they were unlucky to lose that game. They were, they were lucky not to get beat by more, to be honest. They just had a couple of uh, half chances that our goalkeeper took comfortably. So, great to see the Yellow Army and you know, and it was good to give them uh, two goals and a, and a real strong, passionate performance. Right? Sometimes we've got to remember the level and you know, we hope to be better than the level, but we only had two days to, to get, you know, to this standard, so, um, which was good enough. And we just got to try and get a little bit better, a little bit stronger uh, in our play, a little bit fitter, so that we finish stronger. We finished quite strong once we made the subs. And, um, but I can only be genuinely very, very happy for uh, the club, for the players, and obviously the supporters. Both goals coming from set pieces. Seem quite clearly that you've been working on them over the last two days. Yeah, we had a big day yesterday uh, because at this level, set plays play a big part. When you're up against part-time lads, they, they don't really have time to uh, sort out our free kick, our, our set plays, and, and stop us doing what we need to do. They they did quite well actually. They tried. They threw themselves in front of a lot, didn't they? They were blocking shots all over the place and uh, and defending quite well. They tried hard, but. Um, no, we, we we got our set plays and if we scored two, then great, that would be what, two out of ten, which is a very good, very good ratio. But we created a lot of opportunities in, uh, in our play. When, when we get the highlights back, then hopefully Pat will put on all our opportunities for the ones that weren't here and they could see how well the, the lads did get into that point where we had that opportunity in free play. We've seen Talk United many times away this season. They take a bit of slow starting, then they slowly but surely get control of the game. It's a bit too late uh, at some points like Oxford City. But yeah. today, it seemed like a 90 minutes where you were fully in control for the whole game as well. well so I said the night here earlier, we've got to be a constant threat. And I thought we was a constant threat. And then I leave players to you know, bring out the footballer in them. So I don't say you've got to go long or you've got to go short. All I'm saying is pick out what you see. And if you're good enough and you, and you understand what I'm looking for from you, then you'll play for us and be part of the success. If you don't, then no problem, you'll find your level and it might be somewhere else. But at the moment, you know, I was pleased with the lads' effort. That was 100%. I'm really pleased with that. Um, a couple have got to work a little bit on their touch and a few other little bits and pieces. But um, yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've only been here two days, but I'm already proud of the lads at this moment in time. But that won't, we won't rest on our laurels, I promise you. Going into next weekend, a break from the league and a chance to have an opportunity in the FA Cup. The fans are very excited from pre-match. They're even more excited after today. Mm. Chance to get them even more excited for the FA Cup and hopefully a bit of the run this year. Yeah, it was nice. We, the hands ache, in through shaking hands with about 300 people, but that was nice. I purposely wanted to do that because I know the effort that gets put in by supporters. You know, we come on the coach, it's quite comfortable, but they would have had to come through the traffic like we did, you know, the traffic jams and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, if we're going to be a big club, then uh, in, in, at this level, and a big club anyway, uh, and believe that we're a bigger club than where we're playing then you know, we've got to have them fans and they've got to be positive and we want to make sure that we, we... I always say you don't get a second chance to create a first impression. And this new regime with players and management etc. I think created a good first impression. Thank you very much. No